This is question number four. In part A for two marks, we're asked to find the positive value of x such that log to the base x of 64 is equal to 2. Rewriting the exponential statement, we can say now that 64 is equal to x to the power of 2. We need the positive root. Taking the square root of both sides, we can say the positive root will be 8. In part B for six marks, we need to solve for x. We've got log to the base 2 of the quantity 11 minus 6x is equal to two lots of log to the base 2 of the quantity x minus 1 plus 3. I'm going to do this step by step. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite two lots of log to the base 2 of x minus 1. I can use the power law. So on the left hand side, I'm going to have log to the base 2 of the quantity 11 minus 6x. Bringing the power up, I'll have log to the base 2 of the quantity x minus 1 all squared plus the 3. I'm now going to subtract log to the base 2 of x minus 1 all squared from both sides. So we'll have log to the base 2 of 11 minus 6x minus log to the base 2 of x minus 1 all squared is equal to 3. We have a difference, so we can write this as a quotient. So I can write now log to the base 2 of 11 minus 6x divided by x minus 1 all squared will be equal to 3. Rewriting the exponential equivalent, we can say that 11 minus 6x over the quantity x minus 1 all squared is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Multiplying both sides by x minus 1 all squared on the left hand side 11 minus 6x will be equal to 8 lots of x minus 1 all squared. Expanding the brackets on the right hand side, we're going to have 8 lots of x squared minus 2x plus 1. And that will be equal to 11 minus 6x. I'm going to set the left hand side to 0. We're going to have 8x squared minus 16x, then we're going to plus 6x, which is going to give me plus 10x. I'm then going to have plus 8 minus 11, which is going to give us now minus 3. We can look to factor this. That looks like it's going to factor. What have we got? 2x minus 3, and then we've got 4x plus 1. So let's check that works. 8x squared plus 2x minus 12x and then we've got minus 3. So from here we can see now that x would be equal to 3 over 2 or we have x equal to negative 1 quarter. We need to check these to see if they're valid. I'm going to focus on this one first. Negative 1 quarter. If I substitute negative 1 quarter in here this is going to give me a negative number. We can't take the log of a negative number for a real value so we can say that x cannot be equal to negative 1 quarter. And therefore, 3 over 2 is going to be the only solution. So it works for this one, and it will work for this one right here. So that is my final answer. I do need to show now that x can't be negative 1 quarter.